What's up, Timekeeper? So today I'm going to be trying out a small little game called What Never Was. So this is a short puzzle game that I that's free on Steam if you guys want to try it out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be jumping right into 2019. I know I, I, last week I should have done more videos, but just wasn't up to it. So this week I decided that let's go, let's get back, let's get back right into it. So without further ado, let's go try out this little game. So let's go. All right, let's let's jump into it. Hey mom, where are you? In the Wait, dark right what? now. So you're not coming? Uh, but I'm darn. already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to... Yeah, I know, it's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest. Okay, yeah. okay. Bye. Ooh, she doesn't sound happy. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. What is that? All right. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. So it's a nice looking game so far. All right. Ooh, you move slow. Nice, beautiful outside. The vibe bass. Oh, Grandma's cello. Cello. Okay. So this is where it ended up. <clears throat> a loop. It's a magnifying glass. Or magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Okay. Oh. It's a mag. It's a okay, magnifying glass. I got glass. it. I got it. It's a banker's lamp, probably really old. But in I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Oh, of course. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. Seems so. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. Oh, that's so cute. Closer, oh, okay. Aw, it's a picture of us. Wow, Grandpa. what happened to that face? You sweet old bastard. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. It's a magnifying glass. God damn it. For magnif- Ah, the old Grandma gramophone. Muffin. Ah, good old music. Yeah. Enough of that. Hmm. What's this? Q. Journal page number two. Why is it glitching in the back of my head right now? That's weird. <clears throat> it seems it seems no coincidence that both of the resting place of Pele and Periaquaqua Sorry. Would happen to be in mountains. The trek has gone well, although the winds are ominous ominous. My clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable not only in, the, in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge of his company and his company. Not a, and unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol of water. Uh, again, these symbols seem in, uh, interconnected, and while uh, one set are alchemic symbol known to many people the other seems strange uh and of no cultural design that at least i have i am knowledgeable of the encounter of hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significant as well what will i find in the mountains all right i have a cell phone a matson flip phone it's a it's a year old but still works pretty great sorry i'm not in the hurry to upgrade even though the new smartphone looks pretty nifty well, maybe I could, if I could afford one. Student ID. Student ID. Okay. Sarah Elizabeth Wright. The student I have from my school, I'm still not quite sure the studying botanics and biology is the right for me. God, mom doesn't think so, but I like nature. Uh, and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning a Nobel Prize or something or something, a flower shop, you know, what, whichever. Also, not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. Necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned 10. He joked that it was magical and then it would keep me safe from monsters such under my bed. I believed him for the longest time. I wore it since. 
now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. Alright, makes sense. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Pretty much. Grandpa sure did like his books. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Maps. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. <sighs> Celtic Myths and Legends. Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan. Fairies. <sighs> right. It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Cra a desk drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. God damn it, is everything locked? It's locked. 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 Oh. Play me. All right. A tape recorder. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. Okay. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. Hmm. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had with you were a little one, and I wasn't such a cranky old man. <laughs> I... I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. Mm -hmm. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it... it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Okay. Goodbye, Grandpa. Oh, and then 64. Oh, man. My old A station. A station? I hours playing games on this thing. Oh, it is an A station. Hey, Mr. Piggles. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with- It's a landscape painting of Whittington. A typewriter. I'm writing my novel right now. Please come back in an hour. This looks like a nah. -uh. I've watched too many movies <laughs> to go about stealing ancient relics. All right. A torn out page. <clears throat> uh, Q. Journal entry one. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my uh, arduous climb of Mauna Loa. I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travels from which my fear of flight did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safe protocol, safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at time of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secret Pele, goddess of fire, holds is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place. Although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs. Sometimes I have no intent. Something I have not intend to do. 
I also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorway. It connects to Pele, of course, but it's linked in the crest. But it is linked to the crest I've sought as well. Alrighty. Was there something on the cassette? No. Okay, so... Fu Sang China. And a symbol of a tree. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Oh. Ah, shoot. No, that's not it. That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? Okay, so tree, river, wind, flame. Tree he sang China and a symbol of a tree. Yeah. We got it. There we, we go. Did it. What is secret does it have? Like, is this a second part of my necklace? Okay. Whoa! Okie dokie. So, update. I guess when I managed to open Grandpa's globe, I found another piece of the necklace. And when I look through it, still stuff glows and I see a thing that aren't there. What the hell is going on? Am I going crazy? Press V to look through the necklace. Okay. Whoa. Serious whoa. What in the name? My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... It's locked. It needs a key to open. It's locked. What's this? Small key. Let's try this here then. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Ah. That's a cool necklace we got there. Oh, okay. I need to, uh... Journal photograph. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassan Musk Madrata, Egypt, 1966. Must have <clears throat> been from when a trip. Okay. It looks like a torn out page. All I've worked for, it's here, I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbol line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped the grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evade my, evaded my guide, I have now found a symbol. It's time. Time to learn what behind these strange connection and events. Okay. An open desk drawer. Can I crouch? Oh, there we go. We're crouching. A desk drawer. Okay, so. It's locked. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old. And has a combination lock on it. What could the combination be? 
right, we'll come back to that. Oh, another page. Uh, this. The alchemist symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one. While a trip has yet again... While a trip has yet again gone well and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I spent most of my life researching these uh, myth uh, mythological connections, yet again I reached my destination, and nothing almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay, years of planning only to eventually find a temple or a shrine with an another symbol, another riddle, and another clue, however, at the same time. I feel like I am so close to finding the uh, summit. Okay. I should see if I can find the missing... I should see... If oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Oh, another one. Uh... Elfin. Also sometimes known as Trollstone, the subject of Scandinavian folklore. No, no more rocks with a hole in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky and otherworldly and useful. Hung from the neck of livestock, it would protect them from their farmer alike from malicious predators, troll, or even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true elfin is also elfsten is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way there no average jeweler can, could and wit or in place and where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm. And I'm sure disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this stuff. I must study it thoroughly. What was her name again? Sarah. So let's see if the box is... A desk drawer. No. Let's see if this is Sarah. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here, huh, guess I'll have to work it out myself then. Oh, damn. I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Okay. Okay, Pixie. Oh! Pixie, that's her that's her nickname. Whoa, fancy key. A key with a gold finish looks fancy. It feels strange in my hand like an electric sim. Also, the grandfather clock okay. rang when I picked it up. Okay. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? It won't budge. This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards. Okay. I need to look probably at the journal. Fire is up. This button seems to select clock hands.
Okay, so fire is up. This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. Come on. It won't budge. See, that's up. This button seems to select clock hands. So that's the down arrow, which is this one, goes to water. All right, uh, here. So triangle upwards. That's the wind. Then last but not this least. Hand. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards with a line through it. Was Got that it. it? Did I do it? Yes, I did. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? Uh oh. No, 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 no. Did I just disappear inside the clock? Is that where my my grandpa is? That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. Okay. But that is a longer story. For another time. Oh, that's a cool little story. Also leaves it open to having more to it at a later time. So that's pretty cool. Well, that was what never was. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this small little story. Sort of uh, helps us lead off to another thing in the future, maybe. Maybe it's already out. I don't know. I would have to go check out. But this was a small little uh, demo or free little game you could play right now on Steam. Uh, if you enjoyed, of course, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. would really, really appreciate it. Leave a comment below what you thought of the game. Really, really like to hear what you guys think of the games I play on the channel. And of course, go follow me everywhere. Me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here on YouTube where I post new video videos weekly on the channel. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you next video. Keep on, keep on. Keep it on.